Watch me as I dance under the spotlight Listen to the people screaming out more and more Cause I create the feeling that keep them coming back Yeah, I create the feeling that keep them coming back So captivating when I get it on the floor No, y'all been patiently waiting I know you need me, I can feel it This type of play is about making choices in college Many times during our time in college We make choices that affect our future Sometimes we make good choices, and sometimes we make bad choices. There are many different ways to be successful in college by making the right choices. So let's see how to make the right choices in the play. One more time. Mr. Barber, and welcome to Psych 101. I will be your teacher for this semester. I have a strict set of rules I want everyone to follow. Now, if you went on your canvas during summer, you would know that I had some stuff I wanted you to print, like my syllabus and my rules. Because we will be taking a test next class, make sure you understand my rules and regulations I want you to follow. So make sure you study. Good thing I came prepared for this class and made sure to check Canvas before the semester started. I know everything to do with Mr. with what Mr. Barber wants us to follow and studied it last night and will tonight too. It seems to be a good student. Now let's see how our other student is. Billy comes in late. A few moments later. Man, I'm sorry I'm late, Peach. I went to this crazy party last night and I didn't get home until 5 a.m. Nice of you to join us. Now let's continue with the lecture. That didn't seem like a very good choice that Billy made. Let's see how this plays out for Chad and Billy in the next class. The next day. Chad comes in early for class like he always does. Billy is nowhere to be seen. Let's see how this goes. All right, guys, I want you to take a piece of paper out and write down what my six rules are that I want you to follow. Then write what my grading rubric consists of. And then write a paragraph on why you are in college. This will count as your first big assignment and will be 10% of your grade. That's one hint, so do well. I've got this. I studied last night and remember everything he wants us to do. This is an easy A for me. Shows up to class late again. A few moments later. Again, <laughs> I slept through my alarm. Well, take your seat. I hope you know that every time you're late, I'll count your attendance as 50% for being late. We were, we're taking a test, so take out a piece of paper. That's lame. I'm here, aren't I? Should count for something. And a test on what? It's only the second day? Yeah, it counts for 50%, so be grateful. And a test on my syllabus and rules, you would know if you looked on Canvas. You need to write down what my six rules are that I want you to follow, then write what my grading rubric consists of, and then write a paragraph on why you're in college. How am I supposed to do that when I didn't know we had a test? You would have known about it if you were on time to class and checked your canvas like Chad did. Now you are starting the semester off with an F while Chad is starting with an A. Seem like the best student like Chad is. To be successful in college, you have to make sure you are studying hard, showing up on time, take notes, and always check up on your canvas to see what's going on. Many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire. <laughs> I dropped out of college in the first year and I've been doing this since. College just wasn't for me, man. Oh, I see. Well, I'll see you around, maybe. Bye. See you around. Have a good dinner. It looks like Chad did well for himself and was successful in college, while Billy, on the other hand, not so much. 
Just goes to show you, you've got to be successful in college to be able to live your dream, job, or what you want to be when you're older. I hope you enjoyed the puppet show and learned a few ways to be successful in college. Until next time. <laughs> I get it down on the dance floor. Watch this. Hey! You don't even know, girl. <laughs> <laughs> because we will be taking a test next class, make sure you understand my rules and regulations I want you to follow. So make sure you study. Could you put the stop there? Is and stop. Take paper out and write down what my six rules are that I want you to follow. Then write what my grading rubric consists of. 